So, join me here now at Newton Abbott. Ugh, Newton Abbott for three races. So, two miles, six furlong handicap. 0 to 140, the tote ball. Handicap hurdle. Profits, passion for David Hooley. Fairway for Kevin Meenham. Jadawa Stefano. James Shea. Spritzer Catherine for Tom Rogers. Gold top for Pontypool Racing. Heracleon for Stu Gray. Tara Maximus for Paul Rhodes. Ellis Chip for Mr. Cherry. Lucky Bell for Sirius Chill Obi One. Max for Alex Cherry. And Spars Corner for Jimmy Shea. Makes up the field. The start has already got him away. So over two miles, six furlongs here. The hurdle course at Newton Abbott. And we've got three races. Last day of season 12. It's the first of the 12 flights. We'll skip over it. It's Jadawi Stefano that leads us. Um, hard pulling Ellis Chip. Max on his outside. Between those is Tower Maximus. So we'll skip over the second. So with four lengths between first and last. Grey out wide here is Lucky Bell for Obi Wan. Come on right out towards the fence. Spars corner towards the rear. We go past the winning post for the first of, I think, a couple of times. It's to Darvis Stefano that leads from Max in second. In fair way for Kevin Wien and the Grey, although taking a keen hold. Against the fence is Alex Cherry's other runner, Ellis Chip. Paul Rose's Tower and Maximus. Spritzer Catherine for. Tom Rogers as it gets to the third. We'll skip over that as well. So this is Jadal Stefano from Fairway. Max and Ellis Chip. Tower Maximus is between those. And the length back to Spritzer Catherine, Gold Top and Lucky Bell. And David Hooley's Prophet's Passion, the top weight. Spars Corner and Harakling on bringing up the rear. Just still two miles to travel. So it's Jadal with Stefano. Down to the next, plenty of racing on the flat here. It's two miles and six furlongs. So Dudal Stefano leads us from fair weight. And this Chip and Max as they go over the fourth. Go that as well, on the rear. It's Passion and Heraklion. Dudal Stefano leads them into the fifth. Takes it comfortably. The mistakes there. Lucky Bell was pecked on landing. Fairway didn't take it particularly quickly. <coughs> Jump back down into third. Excuse me. Mr. Darby Stefano still leads us. Tower Maximus and Fairway. Ellis Chip and Max. Spritzer Catherine. The Grey. Lucky Bell and the Yellow Silks. And Spars Corner up against the Rao. Grey Clutterbuck's Gold Top. Profits Passion and a Rackling at the rear. So with a mile and a half to go, it is this Jadawi Stefano. Still got a five length advantage away from Fairway and Ellis Chip to go over the six. So half the flight's done. Still at the rear is Heraklion and Profit's Passion, although Gold Top shuffled back to join them. We go over the seventh. So with five to take, the circuit to go. Still this Jadawi Stefano for James Shea. He leads by five to Ellis Chip and Fairway together in second. Then Tower Maximus just dropped back to join Max. And the grey Lucky Bell spritz at Catherine. Moving up well on the inside now is Heraklion to take on Spars Corner on the outside of that. It's Prophet's Passion and Gold Top shuffles back to the rear. So as we come down to the next Jadawi Stefano's over it comfortably. Rest jump it well. So with a mile to go, it's Jadawi Stefano from Ellis Chip in second, Fairways third, Tower Maximus is fourth, and a couple back to fifth place Max. Lucky Bill the Grand, the Yellow Silks for everyone is still there, but being taken on by Spritzer Catherine and that white gold top. Lucky Bell still hanging on to the round, being asked for a bit more. Heraklion being pushed along now. Profit's Passion hasn't asked for anything yet, and Sparse Corner's in the rear at the moment. So as we come down to six furlongs from home, it's Jadawi Stefano, his lead being shortened all the time by Ellis Chip, Fairway, and Tower Max. Maximus, and they're the three away from Max and Gold Top as they go over the ninth. And it's just Darwin Stefano from Ellis Chip in second. Fairway and Tare Maximus haven't asked for anything yet. Gold Top still waiting to be pushed along. Max and Heraklion under a lot of pressure as well as Spritzer Catherine. They're over the tenth, so we're just two to jump. It's Jadawi Stefano from Ellis Chip. Fairway asks for a little bit more now. Tara Maximus seems to find the weight a little bit hard to push. Gold Top really running on well as well as Heraklion on the wide outside. Max trying to push through. The rest are out of it, but this Jadawi Stefano 
has been there since the beginning with three furlongs left to run and just two to take. It's Jadawi Stefano from Ellis Chip, Gold Top, Fairway, Max, Heracleon Tower, Maximus. They're all still trying to run on and catch this leader, but he's still got a four length advantage. But here they come. It's Jadawi Stefano down to the penultimate from Gold Top, Ellis Chip, and Fairway. Still running on Max and Heracleon as they go over the 11th. It's still Jadawi Stefano, but here come Ellis Chip and Gold Top. They've got to make up three lengths. The furlong to run, but this Jadawi Stefano still holding off everybody. Get over the last, he does. And it's Jadawi Stefano inside the final half. And a pillar to post win for Jadawi Stefano. Over two miles and six furlongs. Good win there for James Shea. And Gold Top Grand Fudge back in second. The Rackling looks like it might run off at third from Fairway in fourth, maybe. So a comfortable win there for Jadawi Stefano. Pillar to post win. Well done. Takes the Topol handicap hurdle here. First at Newton Abbott. Comfortable win from Gold Top. Got up for second. Heraklion run on well for third. I think David Hughes' horse Prophet's Passion was fourth. Fairway for Kevin Meenahan got fifth.